What's up everybody, Ian's Flips here. I um, heading out to my storage unit. I just pulled out of the garage and seen a neighbor of mine. That y'all was having coffee with this morning actually. Uh, let's see, let's turn some air on. Normally I'd be having the windows down because it is a nice day. But uh, it's the first time I'm making a recording in the car. I want to make sure we can we can hear it all okay so i'm gonna go to my storage unit i got a storage unit that's like i don't know six seven minutes from the house i try to keep everything close you know post office is like six minute drive my storage unit's a six seven minute drive um and even my work is about a six or seven minute drive i'm in the center of all these things so I got some shelving over there I bought I need to put together and it'll be very easy won't take long but I have um, neglected to do it because I've been sick you know you can see behind me I got an air conditioning unit got to go in there <clears throat> so I got the storage unit for eBay as long as I held off. I've been doing this almost four years. We have a pretty large house as far as room goes and whatnot. Um, I held off as long as I could without a storage unit. It is probably 80 to 90% eBay stuff in it, but I'm also putting some personal stuff in it too, just because I need the room in my garage back and whatnot. So. It's $86 a month. I think it's 10 by 10, something like that. So it's worth it to me. eBay can pay you for it. I'm happy with that. Um, but I gotta build these shelves because it started to get a little messy. And it has really been worth it for me to free up some of my garage space because sometimes my garage gets out of control. There's no room in there. Can't find anything. And quite frankly, it's just a little stressful when I get a bunch of shit in my garage. I just want to be able to get to my bench, get to my tools, pull in and out. <clears throat> Not too much to ask for. I ain't letting eBay take over. I know a lot of people, we have a two car detached garage and I know a lot of people said to me, why don't you just use one of your spaces and park out front? No way. I like having a garage. I don't like cleaning snow off of my damn car because I live in Pittsburgh. And I don't like it to be 120 degrees in my car when I get in in the summer either. When you pull in, you gotta get groceries out. Hey, I go sourcing, you know, I open my car up when we get back from sourcing. I can take my time, get my stuff in or out without being in the elements. So it is worth it to me to have this. And quite frankly, if I was on top of things, I wouldn't even need this. If I just organized the house a little bit better, I'd be okay, but it's all good. It's all good. I went to one sale today, taking it easy. It's October 10th. Uh, there was a cell not far from me. I've been to it once before. These people do uh, clean outs, um, I guess, foreclosures on houses and whatnot. They probably, they go in, they collect everything. I guess they own it and they got to clean it up and get it ready for the, the realtor or the bank to do whatever it is they want to do. So I've given these people my card, my business card, which I do have some of those. I only hand them out to certain people. <clears throat> gave them one for the second time and I'm hoping to get some uh, some paper items and things like that from them I'll buy anything I like electronics I like to flip electronics shoes you know I'll flip anything I can make money on but I like paper items because I can fit a bunch of them in a little in a little plastic box now they don't move as fast as some things but that's okay for me I got the space I got a I got a full-time job this is for extra money I don't need to flip everything immediately it's nice don't get me wrong I like flipping stuff fast it's not 
necessity for my game, my, my business plan. I can sit on some stuff, I don't care. I want to get some money, I'll run some sales, I'll send out a bunch of offers, I'll cut. It's kind of nice too on the paper items, you know, I do everything free for the most part, free shipping. Paper items, you could drop them down considerably if you want to start moving some pretty fast and, you know, make some money, get some money, get some sales in. No big deal. But, we got to get a punch in here to our unit. I think I owe them within the next week or so to, for the month. If you pay this storage unit, I think three months, you get like 5% discount. It just didn't seem really worth it to me, really. Um, and I might do it here shortly. Pay If I pay three months, I get 5% off. It's, it's not much money at all. This is a pretty big facility. They got a lot of units. That's the first one I've ever had in my life, actually. I've never had a storage unit until about three months ago. I couldn't see buying so much stuff. I needed a storage unit, but I could justify it when I'm selling stuff and flipping stuff. I keep a lot of my larger items in here. Some things I like to list later in the year around Christmas time like I got some mirrors in there bar mirrors Budweiser different things like that and I'll put them on Facebook Craigslist offer up and just keep them local I got a new in the box turkey fryer in there and I have a turkey fryer at home I thought about keeping it but I'm probably gonna sell it I already got one I could probably Right before Thanksgiving, I bet you I could flip that thing for 40 or 50 bucks. Now I'm just, I'm guessing, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But, so we are here. I'm gonna get out, open this up, and I'll be back. I'm gonna put you on the roof here. So you can see what I'm doing inside. off and I'll be right back put you on the all right I'm back sold a magazine for $9.99 while I was trying to switch this phone around so what we got going on If you can see over here or not. Shelves here I'm gonna build. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with these shelves and uh, put them over on this side. Get on there for Christmas. Some of these bobbleheads. I gotta find them. 
cups are in. paper items I like to go through they're easy for me I have some desiccant here to pull water from So that wasn't cool. Phone fell. Didn't call it on. Nothing's broken. So. Try this again.
far so good. Good. I didn't think of bring a stole. Let's see. Thanks for the bucket, Greg. Laza. Dawn. Friends of mine, this is our game. A little beer pong. We played it this summer. Yard pong, they call it. So. are going up pretty quick. I'll tell you a story or something to pass the time while you watch me do this, but I can't think of one. A story for you. I 
getting bit with that brown recluse, so we're gonna get itchy. Like a spider web on me. Here's all the other stuff from this one now. There is like a glue or something on this stuff, plastic. Spider webs, it's just plastic from the mold. Molds. Let's see it here. It feels kind of funky. Somebody just tried calling me. I gotta finish this up before I can take that call. I'm almost done. I think I actually bought these shelving units at Home Depot for 50 bucks each. Lowe's, it was Lowe's. Home Depot didn't have any, Walmart didn't have any. I bought the last two at Lowe's.
and that that's for winter time I want to get new items that I can post it up for uh, Christmas obviously so, this stuff back here is actually our
leaking on the, the air conditioner up on here.
stuff in here we'll do a little bit at a time it's gonna be it for now the kitchens on the flip side ends flips out aka John see you all later keep it flips <laughs>